proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity, that a survivor. No man. It's a gas fellow. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mine. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondé, the bartender. The calamity got him before his drinking did. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gas bars. Windbags start turning up for last call. Squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Right back at you, he finds the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real gross now. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tone. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. He's a mighty fast player. He finds the core of the dwarf district. Well, down he goes. Down toward the bastion. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough. He finds another. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. And watch. Just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. The Bastion ain't gonna build itself. Well, not entirely. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an arrow cage. And now there's a new marshal in town. He has the whole place wrong, but it's too tough to fall. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The old world is finished, but the new world's just getting started. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Kid ponders what to build. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. There's only one way to send a brick forth. The hard way. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the fort's crawling with windbags. The calamity was mercy. Windbags ain't much different from all the folks. All they want's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. 
Cinderbrick gave him enough heat metal to munch on for a while. But the fort ain't theirs by right. Security's playing on Haywire. The bags gummed up the works. They trapped the kid in the middle of the force parade grounds. And now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. Kid shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees it plain, frozen faces all around. These folks never saw the calamity coming. But someone did. Someone close. It was someone like him. It's a snag or two trying to get him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions after all. The Thunder Brothers didn't make it. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here, but him, he survived. You just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other. For the first time. We talk for a spell. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city. And he's lived here. Zolf banged up Zolf and he's very bad. He's like second home. He's real worried about his first home too. Far to the east. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Mango Gators love shiny things. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Wanna know how to find an ankle gator lair? You use a kid as bait. The shard sitting in plain view. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. After all that, kid lets the ankle get it go. Hope Queen Anne don't mind us borrowing from her treasury. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was a smoking pipe. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. High time we built something new. Not everything blew up in the calamity. Why Corford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here, but we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. All sorts of awful things crawling underfoot. After all, when we looked down inside Colford Cauldron, we had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to 
jaws and wow, pops open on him like a pimple on school day. And where there's one stink eye, there's always more. The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. With a good spyglass, you can still see. It comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. First things first, what do we build next? Imagine everything you need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes birthstone quarry. The quarry came with a life supply supply windbag. Not only are these rocks a source of life, they're recording everything all the time. Taking it all in. We found out the oldest ones remember things. Now why would the earth sell off such a fascinating place? Might be the gods told them the quarry's bad news. Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. The largest ones, you know as cores. Remember how I said rattle tails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin. Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says, kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you, because my countrymen will. Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries. The Hura think they got him. They're wrong. No way out of this. Not without a fight. Well, it's all... The shards can put this disease in remission. But there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. The Bastion. It's finally finished. Now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you'd done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. Hey, kid. It's finished. Now nah, sit tight. It'll be over soon. No matter what happens next, done good. I suppose all that's left is to try and remember this moment. The Bastion's gonna take us back to a better time before any of this. My people forget everything you've done and each other. Though after all we've been through, I find that hard to believe. So long, kid. Maybe I'll see it in the next one. Say, Landia. <laughs>